I got three reasons why you probably shouldn't move to Seattle, Washington. You want to hear those three reasons? Then stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Jackson Ray Wilkie with the Real Agent Now Group right here in Seattle, Washington. If this is your first time to this channel, you want to know all about working, eating, sleeping, living, playing, and the three reasons why you shouldn't move here, then start now by subscribing to this channel, tap that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And honestly, we are getting so many phone calls, emails, and text messages from people moving here, and we absolutely love it. If you're even thinking about moving or relocating here or anywhere in the entire Seattle Metro, well, you've got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send us the Seahawk. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Seattle, Washington. All right, so, you know, we've done so many videos lately, and we get a bunch of random, you know, comments and kind of the haters out there who you know talk badly. And I wanted to do three reasons why if you don't like any of these things, maybe you shouldn't move here. But we're gonna go over those. And the very first thing I wanna talk about and people always you know mention is, you know, is there homeless there? So number one, you know, how bad are the homeless? Well, you know, if you listen to some of the haters in the comments, this place is crawling with them. They're everywhere, there's homeless, and it's just not like that. Look. I've been to other big cities. They're in there too. Seattle has a very modest climate. Yes, it does rain and, you know, there is, you know, cloudy days and stuff, but at the same time, it never really freezes. There's no snow. There's, you know, a lot of activity here and there's parks. So that's one thing I want to talk about. Is there homeless here in Seattle, Washington? Yes, absolutely there is. Um, I did a video on, you know, kind of the top 10 worst neighborhoods. It's all, a lot of it's real, you know, down south of Seattle. And it's because you have the major freeways right there. Whenever you find those major freeways, you have a lot of, you know, obviously transportation. You have all the off ramps where they're, you know, got their signs and stuff. Some of them are kind of funny. But you also have, you know, all the transportation and light rails and stuff. So um, you have the airport, the SeaTac airport down there. That's where you see them congregate a lot. You're going to see them, you know, under bridges and you're going to see them off the off, off ramps. Um, and unfortunately, they're there. But if, the, if you're asking if the city is crawling with them and if they're like attacking people, like it's non-existent. Yeah, you do see them, but they usually stick to their own business. And as long as you don't bug them, you know, they're not going to bug you. You know, they're just out there in their little camps. And another thing I want to mention is even by some of the top better neighborhoods, you know, that are closer to those freeways, you might see them in there too. Um, or the, the, the parks, the greenways, you know, you'll see them camping out. But Yes, we do have homeless, and if you don't even like homeless one bit, or you don't want to live in a city that has them, then you probably don't want to move here, but that's very hard to do. I will say, coming from a smaller town in northern Idaho, you know, we did see them, but it was snowing five months out of the year there, so it was a little tougher uh, climate, but, you know, that was kind of a shock for me, but, you know, here with my family, we go out at night, we ride public transportation. I'm never scared of them, I'm never in fear of them. So um, I definitely would not make that a motivating factor of why not to move here, but if it is for you, yeah, it might be a reason not to. The number two thing, something we always hear is that it rains every damn day. It does not rain every day. And yes, I'm a Northwest kid, so I literally have lived up here my whole life and I enjoy it. You know, it's something I just don't even really think about anymore. If you're coming from Florida, you know, South Florida, Miami, you know, or maybe San Diego, and you're used to that sun every day, this might not be the place for you. I'm being honest, but does it rain every day? No. You know, here in Seattle, we average, you know, just over 150 days of rain. So, I mean, yeah, you got more than, you know, 200 days, around 200 days of not rain, but 150 sounds like a lot, but you have to, you know, think about it in this regard. 0 0.01 inch of rain consists of a day of rain. That's what's more common here in Seattle than it is an absolute downpour. You see some of those states in the southern, you know, the southern states and even up in the northeast, they'll get double the amount of rain we do because they get those flat out rainstorms um, where it may rain up to five inches in a day, you know, those really bad ones down in the south. But here, I mean, we consistently get just drizzles in the morning, a little bit. Every once in a while, you'll, you'll string maybe five, six, seven straight days of pretty good solid rain. But um, the more common thing you see here is just the drizzle in the morning, drizzle in the afternoon, whatever. That's why you don't see people with umbrellas a lot. We joke about it, but honestly, you just, you don't need it that much because you wear the coat and you kind of cover up while it drizzles and then it clears away. 
I absolutely love it. What does that rain bring? It brings the beauty that the Northwest has. Trees everywhere. I love, you know, when people come here from out of state and they just like stop, pause, look around, they see the hills, they see trees just everywhere. Um, all the parks, you know, botanical gardens, flowers, they're just beautiful. Um, yeah, and you're gonna see people, it doesn't matter, rain or shine, you will see them out, active, being outside. That's what Seattle is, that's the lifestyle. And the rain is the lifestyle. So maybe you dodge that rain for a little bit, yeah, you hunker in on one of the 80 bazillion coffee shops or breweries for the brewskis. Um, but yes, if you do not like rain, if you're in Miami, South Beach, you know, San Diego, I keep seeing those two, but if you just don't like rain, you like sun, this ain't the place for you. But if you like that crisp morning, like I love it right now, it's December, um, you know, it's getting up into the 50s. My kids still go to school in shorts, it's crazy. Um, but if you like that crisp morning, we have a lot of them where the stars are out, you know, no clouds being a blanket, and it's very crisp, you enjoy your coffee in the morning. Um, and then once, you know, the sun comes out, it, it'll get up to 55 degrees and sunny, right in the dead of winter. We do get January, February weather where it's gonna be a little bit more cool, but our average temperature, like during the winter months, is like 46 degrees. So yeah, you're rarely gonna see it get below freezing and you're rarely gonna see it snow. If it does snow, hey, we'll shut the town down, but that's kind of fun. You get together with the neighbors, maybe get a little fire pit, get some brewskis, do some sledding. Um, but yeah, you're, it's gonna shut down. There's no plows here, nothing to take care of the snow, unlike where I'm from up in the north. Idaho by the Canadian border. We went to school in five, six feet of snow. But anyways, yes, the weather here is just what it is. If you don't like rain, do not move here. But if you like that cool, you like the rain, you like the outdoors, you like the greenery, this is your spot. All right, the number three thing we always hear, you know, from the haters especially, is this place used to be great. All the good people have left. It's too damn expensive. And yeah, maybe I've kind of wrapped all that together, but Look, it's not true. There are so many good people here. There's so many local people who just have lived there their whole life and they absolutely love it. I have to be honest, and some of the people who say this, um, they just really never did that extra step. They don't enjoy or they don't even take pride or respect into what they have here. This is an incredible area if you embrace it. You have to embrace Seattle and the Northwest in general. It's a lot of people, the traffic isn't that good, but at the same time, you have some of the most walkable neighborhoods, cities, you have some of the best food, you have parks, 400 plus parks that are you know, manicured and well-maintained, you have hiking trails, you got winter sports, there's just endless things to do here. Um, and if you don't go out and enjoy them, and you just see you know, a place that's starting to grow because of that, Look, we got top jobs. There's no secret about that. You got the Amazons, Microsofts, Boeing. I mean, there's just so much going on here and it's gonna continue to grow. Unfortunately, that brings people and it brings up home prices, but it is not a terrible place to live and all the good people have gone. In fact, the number one comment we get from all of our clients who are moving here from out of state is that it's so friendly. They will go to a coffee shop, they'll go to a bar, restaurant, and someone's gonna lean over and spark a conversation with them. They're like, what, this person's talking to me? That's kind of weird. Like, yes, that is so normal around here. People are chill, and that's the cool thing. You'll learn quickly about groups, and you're gonna learn about all the secret hidden gems from your neighbors, from friends, from whoever you're talking to. So I love it, I embrace it. We go out and we just see all parts of Seattle and, and all over the Northwest, up and down the coast. So. You have to embrace it. All the good people haven't left. You're gonna meet some of the greatest people. And you know, with the influx of new people, that brings kind of the, you know, not so much of the homegrown body. You're gonna have experiences and cultures from everywhere. I really enjoy, you know, all the, you know, diversity and people that I meet who come in here from all over the place. And those are the top three reasons, you know, you should move here. Homeless, you know, is an issue. Rain, and you know, if you think all the good people have left or if you think it's too expensive, then yeah, this place is not for you. But I'm telling you, there are way more good than bad around here in Seattle, Washington. And with that being said, if you are thinking of moving or relocating here to the Seattle Metro anywhere, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send us the Seahawk. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Seattle, Washington. If this is your first time on this channel, you want all the videos, everything about Seattle, make sure you tap that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And until the next video, we'll catch you later.